Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019, regular selectmen's meeting. All the board is here tonight. The town manager is out of town tonight on the conference as we have the town clerk here and an empty room other than that. Please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have our October 8th minutes. Move the minutes as presented. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Is a uh, public comment? Is uh, first public comment? Is I? Uh, we have no public here, but I heard that there was a public comment coming. Good evening, Terry Wright, Berwick Community TV. I'd just like to remind our viewers that we will be hosting uh, Trunk and Treat right here for the Berwick Rec Department. Um, Berwick Public Library and BCTV are teaming up in the Selectman Meeting Room right here. Um, we'd love to have you come down and visit us. There'll be free books. The library has free books for all the kids and treats, of course. We've got to have a few treats here. But you can also go live with BCTV, so you can tell your friends and family to watch as you debut your costume for BCTV and our viewers. Um, look forward to seeing everyone there. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When is it? Yeah, you didn't say. I didn't say when it was. You are good. <laughs> Can we hire him? Um, I'm really sorry. I didn't say when this was. It is next week on Tuesday, right? No, Wednesday, the 30th. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble with my dates this week. Wednesday, the 30th at 5.30 till 7 p.m. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No other comment? Uh, we have a public hearing tonight on the November 5th, 2019 Town Supplemental Warrant. And, uh, we have nobody in attendance for this, but I will go through the uh, articles. We have already uh, voted on the articles, so this is just the public hearing. <coughs> is Article 1 is to elect a moderator. Article 2, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $50,000 for the purpose of investing in capital purchase and replacement of fire department apparatus and vehicles for fiscal year 2019-20 and place this amount into the fire department capital account established for this purpose with any unspent balances to carry forward each year until fully expended. Article 3. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,000 as the first loan payment for the purchase of LED lights for the replacement of an estimated 200 street lights throughout the town and also to replace all fluorescent lighting within all the municipal buildings. This will authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a lease purchase agreement on terms it deems appropriate with the balance to repeat, be repaid over a period no longer than four years. The payback will be realized over a period of three and a half years. In Article 4. So the town authorized the Board of Selectmen to apply on behalf of the town for federal finance and assistance under the provisions of the Community Development Block Grant for the Envision Berwick Village, Envision Berwick Village Revitalization Project and further authorized the Selectmen to enter into the Community development block grant agreement with the state subsequent to federal approval of the project. <clears throat> Article 5, shall the town vote to raise and appropriate up to $125,000 as matching funds for fiscal year 2020-2021 budget should Article 4 be approved. And then Article 6 is, shall the town authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a memorandum of understanding with the Berwick Public Library trustees to manage all operation expenses beginning fiscal year 2020-2021, which begins July 1st, 2020, and continuing forward each fiscal year. And seeing how there's no questions from the public, I will close the public hearing. I, 
I do have one question on these. Yeah. Uh, Article two, you've got a selectman recommends a vote of four to zero. All the rest are five to zero. Yep. But I don't think Mark was at that meeting. No. What happened is the original vote, the article was miswritten. So we have to change it. Okay, so we revised it at the 27th meeting. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Just wanted to make sure we were clear on why there was four for one and five for the others. What date is the election? November 5th. Eight to eight. Um, <coughs> all right, and close the public hearing. Uh, reports of committees is uh, BCTV does not have a report. Envision Burke does not have a report. Is, uh, we have no department reports. There's uh, appointments, presentations, and other guests. We have uh, two appointments to the Comprehensive Plan Steering Committee. There's no term to it. There's one is Ben Niles. He's <coughs> currently on the Seward District Trustee. Um, he's he's uh, interested in serving. Actually, I believe he was elected as a... Uh, Vice Chair at the meeting, <laughs> even though he's not officially there. And uh, the second one is uh, my brother Michael Wright. Is uh, he wants to represent the Great Works Land Trust on it? So, if uh, we could have a couple of motions to appoint. So I move we appoint Mr. Ben Niles <coughs> to the Comprehensive Plan Steering Committee uh, with no expiring term. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. And I would also move that Michael Wright be appointed to the Comprehensive Plan Steering Committee with no uh, expiring term. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching. Yeah. Is, is, is my brother Michael's actually on vacation. He's out of town right now, so. Is, uh, Podcast. So. Is, I, don't, I don't know about Ben. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have any unfinished business to speak of? No. Is uh, we have no town manager for town manager report and selectman communications. There's no direct communications other than from Comcast talking about another change to channels that most people probably don't watch. Tom, did you see the email from about uh, the recycling program? Uh, there was an email that I received. Uh, I thought it went to everybody, uh, but they're that. looking for uh, support for a recycling program for the. Oh for the yes, it came a couple weeks ago yes. from the yeah. town. No. no, it was from the, somebody in uh, Maine Municipal, maybe. Yeah, I can't remember I who that. it was. Yeah, I had forgotten about that one. Okay. Is um, I'll get some more information on that. Is uh, what it was was is uh, talking about is changes in recycling laws and changes in the the solid waste stream and how you know a lot of countries are banning plastics and stuff now that we need to uh, look into doing something different. Um, I, I will talk a little bit about the uh, the new fire station site is uh, the Estabrook school has been demolished and removed as <coughs> the uh, slab has been torn up is there's a lot of good fill underneath there that we're going to be utilizing throughout the site uh, we got the uh, main culvert in across the new access road we had a October 15th deadline to get that in from the Army Corps of Engineers and we managed to get it in on the 14th so is, uh, if we hadn't gotten it in, we would have had to wait till the beginning of June to do that. So we're lucky to be able to do that. Um, we, are, we do have a meeting this <coughs> Thursday with the, uh, the uh, building committee as we should be getting our final estimates and see how close we are to budget. Is the last report I had is that we were right on budget. Is uh, within a few thousand dollars it sounded like. So there'll be some uh, decisions we'll have to make, you know, about what gets cut and if we want to look for other funding or not. So, other than that, is uh, things are moving along, and uh, hopefully we can get some concrete done before when it comes too close. If 
approval of accounts payables. We have a payroll warrant, 2016, from October 17th, 2019, for the amount of $62,369.15. Account payable warrant, 2017, from October 24th, 2019, for the amount of $1,194,837.51. That has our uh, school payment in it. Is, uh, we have a water warrant, 017, from October 24th, 2019, the amount of $1,634.61. And we have a payroll warrant for October 24th, 2019. Well, payroll warrant 2017. Is for the amount of $56,131.96. As I make a motion, we'll pay our bills. A second. Any discussion? No. All those in favor? Thank you. Pass these down to you, Ed. <clears throat> New business. Is the policy <coughs> policy directive purchasing purchasing policy revisions? <laughs> Confusing, it's listed as one on one thing and the other. Um, this is something I had talked about a while ago: is uh, updating our uh, uh, purchasing uh, policy. Is uh, what we had had been in place for quite a few years and uh, was becoming outdated as far as uh, you know, the amounts that were allowed for uh, the department heads to buy and things like that. So this is a policy that is uh, Steve and Lisa and Lisa Vargas, I believe, has come up with. Is, um, <coughs> is it changes a few things. It, it clarifies who can and cannot do the purchases is um, I, I can answer some of the questions uh, Steve can answer more of them if he was here but is um, this is something that um, is um, <clears throat> if we want we can uh, take the time to, to look over and uh, you know have other questions on it we can do that or I haven't even looked at it so I would Recommend or move that we, we table, table it. Do I have a second for tabling? I'll second it. All those in favor? Thank you. And then we have a um, 2019 municipal valuation return from the state of Maine. And this basically just takes all the information that our assessors have as far as uh, how many house slots, how many, how much property we have, how much is under the tree growth, all that, it's all based on, you know, the figures supplied by the assessors in the uh, state. talks about the increase in the valuation as Steve's talked about in the past how we've gained nearly 10 million dollars I think it was in valuation over the last year or so but. so basically what we need to do is just you know okay that we accept the figures in here and send this on to the state of Maine.
one of the things that you know I've heard, heard a lot of people talking about is the you know the growth of the town, and it shows that in the year from April 1st, 2018 to 2019, is we've had 30 new single-family homes and two apartment buildings. It's supposed to have the big development on Black, uh, Black, one by the Vivian Hussey School or whatever. Black Bay Hill Road. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. Yeah, there's like there's supposed to be a big development going in there at some point. Well, that that's been on the books for years. I know. It is um, that 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 started out just before the uh, crash in 2008. It was when that was first brought forward, and uh, there've been problems with um, the DEP permitting out there with the wetlands and uh, uh, endangered animals. Is the Blanding's turtle? I think is what it is. Blanding. Blanche Blanche turtle. Blanche turtle. Yep. Black race of snake. Black races, yep. Is, um, so they, they decreased the size of the lots, the, the number of lots. Yeah, we're from like 90 to 72, I think. Right, something like that. But, you know, until you get a developer that's willing to take it on, is it's still just the paper. Yeah. <coughs> so. I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> So I, I would move that we accept the municipal valuation return um, as presented. I'll second it. Any discussion? As I said, this is all, all what the assessors have been talking to us about over the last few months, you know, about since they've redone their real valuation. So is uh all right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Thank you. Just thought there'd be more tree growth. <clears throat> oh, let's see. We have no quick claim deeds, no abatements. Second public comment. Um, we have no executive session. Any other business and non agenda items? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you. Did you raise your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw you raise your hand.